Hey there, welcome to Violet's DIY Style. If this is your first time to my channel, I'm Violet and I hope you consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to click on that bell button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. So today, I'm going to share with you how I made these Christmas farmhouse decor pieces. So the first project, what we're going to do is basically grab some cardboard or piece of paper, anything that you can actually make a stencil or some kind of template with. And you're going to need to draw a square, um, all sides the same. Um, and I'm just using my L-shaped ruler to make it my square that size. So it's a 12 by 12 by 12 square. Once you're done cutting out your template, go ahead and you're going to fold that square into a triangle and you're going to fold that triangle in half again just make sure you hold that point whichever point you want your uh, top of your tree to be is going to be where you start folding your um, paper so again you just fold it in thirds and then what I did was after I folded and gave that good crease, I went ahead and flipped it over and just cut all of my bottom of my paper to form that triangle um, to make my Christmas tree. So there you go and then you unravel it and this is the way it looks kind of like a diamond and that's how you're going to make your cone for your Christmas tree. Next you grab whatever fabric you're going to use and like I said I'm using these um, Dollar Tree area rugs. These they're these small little throw rugs, um, and I'm what I'm doing is cutting the tassel off of the one side of my rug, and I'm going to put my template right at that corner and cut out my shape. So you can see with this one uh, rug, you can make two of these trees, depending on the size that you're going to make your tree. You can even make more. And since I had the same style of rug, but in green, I decided to make one in green as well. But this one, I'm not going to cut off the tassels. I'm actually going to leave them there and start cutting my template from there. So I'm going to actually leave those tassels and again, just cut my triangle. So once you cut out your stencil from your rug, just add glue down one of the edges of your um, fabric and then you're going to wrap that around to form that cone and glue it to the other side so there you have it and now you can put these tassels right in the center of your tree on this edge of the tree it's just completely up to you where you want your tassels to lay once you're done so here, once you're done and you allowed all your cones to dry, go ahead and stuff them. You can stuff them with pillow filling. If you have an old throw pillow, I tend to keep those and just reuse the stuffing. Um, but I wanted to show you that if you don't have any of that kind of stuffing or rags that you want to put into your tree, you can easily use these cotton balls from Dollar Tree as well. So just go ahead and stuff your tree as much as you like, depending on how uh, thick you want your tree to be. Now what you're going to do is fold in your bottom part. So just kind of fold it in like an envelope and then hot glue that together to form the bottom of your tree. Just be careful because again, you are using hot glue. So um, just be careful with your fingers. Go ahead and fold in the bottom part again of your tree and allow this to dry before you start with uh, removing any of the fabric if you have any of that extra fabric or um, of the lines or ribbons that you might have the strings. So once everything is dry, you're gonna go ahead and grab a popsicle stick or some cardboard. I'm just using one of these uh, painter stick top handle parts that I still had from a previous project and I'm going to glue that to the bottom of my tree. What you want is something flat from the bottom of the tree so you can glue your stem onto it. So this is the way it looks or you can leave it as is if you don't want that stem bot um, on the bottom of your tree. Next, you're going to go ahead and grab two of these tree sticks. Um, if you have some outside, go ahead and use those. Of course, those will be free. Um, but if you don't, Dollar Tree does carry some stems and all you have to do is just glue those two together or three, depending on again how high you want your tree to stand and then glue that to the bottom of your Christmas tree um, right in the center of that piece of wood or stick that you have in the bottom. And this is the way both of my trees look once they're completely done. Now, the tassels that I cut off of my beige uh, rug, I decided to go ahead and wrap them around my tree like lights. 
So that's another option you can use your tassels with too, or leave it as is. Once you wrap them around, just go ahead and um, start gluing them in different areas just so they can stay nice and secure onto your tree. When I completed these, um, I started thinking, they to me, they're farmhouse, and that's the way I'm going to display them. But I can see myself or see others using the same project um, more in a boho style home. But you guys let me know what style you're going to use your trees in. Is it going to be more of the farmhouse, or are you going to kind of decorate your Christmas uh, decorations more boho? I think both of them are pretty. I always tell everybody I like that boho farmhouse modern style, if that makes sense to everyone. But yeah, that's kind of the way I like decorating. So once you're done gluing all of your tassels around your Christmas tree, you can leave it as is. What I did was basically just trim off each one of these tassels just so they can look more uniformed and um, you can see each one individually as well. So I just trimmed some of them down just to make them a little bit shorter. And there you have it, two adorable fabric Christmas trees. Now you can leave them as is, but if you see once you stand them up, um, basically with any little wind or anything, they're gonna fall down. So what I did was I grabbed four Jenga blocks and just uh, glued them all side by side and made kind of like a stand for my Christmas tree. Just added some hot glue to the bottom of my stem and glued that right into the center of my stand. And this helped tremendously for it to stay in place and you don't have to worry about it tilting or falling anywhere. You can also even use um, maybe a little flower pot or the ceramic pots from Dollar Tree and put your tree into one of those as well. So I did this to both of them and then just set them aside and allowed them to dry. And these are your fabric Christmas trees. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite or are you planning to make both of them like I did. So keeping with this Christmas tree um, decorations, I'm going to make a garland using the wooden Christmas trees that you can get from Dollar Tree. Now all you're going to do is basically use one package, um, but you can use more if you'd like. All I used was one package and I painted each one of these trees green. I wanted to keep it more of the simple style to, to go with the, my trees as well because I'm planning on placing this garland along with the trees that I just made. So I wanted to keep it more of a simple farmhouse style. So all I did was paint front and back of each one of these trees in this apple barrel green. So once they're completely dry, just flip them over and do the same thing to the back. Go ahead and set them aside and allow these to dry. So while the trees are drying, go ahead and grab some jute twine or any kind of ribbon that you want to use or yarn and make some tassels. Now you see me make tassels plenty of times on my channel, but if you haven't, here's how you make them. Just grab a piece of cardboard, depending on what size you want your tassel, and just cut out a little opening towards the top of your um, cardboard and then wrap around any kind of yarn or jute twine as many times as you like depending on how thick your tassel is going to be. I typically wrap it around 10 to 15 times and that just depends on how thick I want it again. Once you're happy with the amount of times you twisted it, go ahead and grab another piece of little jute twine or yarn and then insert it into that opening that you have in your cardboard, tie a knot and then cut off your um, jute twine from the bottom, the longest part of your rope and there's your tassel with that extra piece of jute twine that you tied there or not i simply just wrap it around a few times 
um, until I have just enough to make another knot with that rope and then I just double knot it and there's your tassel and I made two of these tassels. And there you have it. So next, what I did was I went ahead and grabbed all of my um, pieces of wood that I'm going to use, and I'm using from the same bag those wood chips, and now I'm going to go ahead and sand off some of the paint to make it look more farmhouse distress um, on my trees. So you don't have to do this, this is completely optional. Uh, so just go ahead and grab some sandpaper and just sand off some of the paint. Um, I typically do the edges of each one of these trees and just sand them down just so they can look more um, distressed looking. And if you don't want to use sandpaper, you can easily get a wet cloth and do the same process, just rubbing it onto your tree and some of that paint will come off as well. So once you're done and you're happy, go ahead and grab some of that jute twine again. And all I did was use this little uh, cutting board that you got in Dollar Tree as well. I believe it's a 10 inch uh, piece of board that I'm just going to use kind of like a ruler. And I'm putting in, um, running all of my trees down some jute twine. And then once I run them all through there, I'm going to grab one at a time and kind of pull it up and start making my garland. And the way I did it was I just left some extra jute twine. Um, I didn't really measure out how much I left, but I left a little bit more than what I would think I needed. And then ran um, my tree, one of my trees right in the center and measured out, kind of to make sure that it was between that um, 10 little square template that I'm using. So it's kind of like on the four if you want to use that template. And now I just tied a knot to make sure my tree stays in place. So I just went ahead and grabbed it from that 10 inch end, pulled in another tree to make sure it's in that four. And then I just tied a knot for it to stay in place again, just to kind of keep my trees all evened out and spaced out. Just tie a knot and repeat the process until you're done with all of your five trees. So once you're done tying all of your trees um, and spacing them out, you know, a little bit even just to keep that uniform, go ahead and start adding your, um, I call them like little logs to your jute twine. I just added a, ran a line of glue onto my rope or my piece of wood and glued it onto the jute twine just like this. And I'm just making sure that um, the rope is kind of straight so I can glue, make sure that it's gluing towards the top uh, to face the tree as well. So that rope can be towards the back of my um, garland. So just go ahead and glue on your stick. And you can see I'm not being precise, but I am just trying to make sure that they're a little bit even. So once I did that, just go ahead and completely uh, do the same process over and over again until you add as many of these pieces of wood in between your trees as you'd like. You can even add uh, some ribbon in between these trees, whatever you like, whatever um, fits your style or whatever home decor you're planning on making for Christmas this year. Um, you can add different things to this garland as well. So once you're completely done adding all of those pieces of wood that you want, you, I decided to go ahead and add just a little bit extra to my trees. Um, this is completely optional, but what I did was I grabbed some of this lace from Dollar Tree as well and just made little bows and glued them onto the top of my tree. Um, you don't, again, have to do this part, but I just thought I needed that little extra touch, so this is what I decided to do. Um, I could, You could even add maybe some berries, just all kinds of things that whatever fits your style. Again, this is completely optional. Um, I just made little bows with this lace and glued them on to each one of my trees. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree. 
So there you have it. Once you're done adding all of the ribbons around your trees, what I decided to do was go ahead and start adding my tassels to the ends of my garland. Um, you can add them in other places. I just added them at the end and simply just tied it um, a knot around with the extra ribbon or jute twine that I left on each end. And then I decided to go ahead and use the same lace that I did the bows with and wrap it around the center part of my tassel. And here, all I did was make some little here, loops so you can have somehow uh, to hang them. If you don't want to hang them on a bookshelf, you can use some nails and hang them that way as well. So here I am just repeating the process on my tassel with the ribbon. And there you have it, an adorable Christmas garland. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite or are you going to make both of them? Until next time, you guys stay blessed. And remember, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and share with friends and family. Bye.